Welcome to my lightning talk about building your own Elastic Cloud on Kubernetes with ECK using the GitOps approach. As said, my name is Arnold van Weinbergen and I'm an observability subject matter expert. And I'm working at Fullstack, currently helping our customer Albert Hank with setting up their logging capability using the Elastic Stack and the ECK operator. So let's go further and hopefully the slide will continue. Yes. So where we have started was with the traditional Elastic Stack. Yeah, we were running on a single VMware ESX box with almost no automation. The environment itself was not ready for scale that we expected. Yeah, we expected to grow, especially during COVID. But next to that, it required a lot of maintenance, especially during uh, event streams were too high. The capacity was minimized. Mostly related to the missing elastic tuning of the cluster settings in index mapping, we were had to change this way. We had to get rid of this, uh, let's say, uh, sorry, uh, monolith. We were dreaming about the future. Let's say one platform, multi-tenant, clear insights, and self-service, and a modern architecture, just like this Indian building. But I've learned today it is the Lotus Temple in India and in New Delhi. But how do we get there? We know the recipe, but let's jump further into the details. So looking at our ingredients. Yeah, we did various sessions to define the ingredients we needed for a recipe, but that, what did we put in our box? Cloud native for sure, security, quality by design, following our SRE practices, automated all configurations like infrastructure, and even elastic configurations. All that need to be in there, but let's first look into the first subject, which is GitOps. So yes, we used GitOps. We used GitOps for gluing. We set up Argo CD to ensure all our resources were in our desired state. We used only one GitOps repository as our trusted source. Argo CD itself gives really good insights in the dependencies and the connectivity of our elastic environment. But next to GitOps and Argo, we also use the chef, which is ECK. ECK itself is our chef for operating our components, such as elastic certs, Kibana stateful sets, and really the pods. The operator is not really helpful for deploying everything, but it's also really helpful for maintenance or steering our deployments like rolling upgrades. It's all driven by the manifests that we provide to our cluster and the intelligence of the operator itself. But not only the operator helped us, we don't have to forget Helm. Helm gives us the template spiciness we needed. It really helped us to minimize the configurations to configure like the actual application manifests we needed for our elastic stack environments. And it helped to integrate our secrets from tokens from the Azure key vault Minimize code, maximize output, and optimize the operational control. But yes, we were still missing something. It was missing in the operator. We needed some secret sauce that could automate our elastic configurations for templates, mapping, NGS pipelines, ILM policies, and more. After some tryouts, we chose for the simple sidecar pattern to synchronize the configuration from our GitOps managed Azure file system. For your info, this sidecar will only apply configuration from the elected master. But yes, without an award-winning team like our team OMA, we couldn't succeed these tech challenges. Collaboration really made the difference for a smooth transition without any blackout moments for the teams. Our goals, no data loss and smooth transition were certainly met here. And really looking further, what's in it for us? What did we got from this implementation? So we got a productized solution, really built for scale. So one source to manage our uncle of logging repository. Versionized configuration for both the infrastructure and the elastic part. Some amazing change control to manage our 20 clusters with GitHub pull requests. And yes, with Argo, we got 
really good insights in the dependencies. And after the implementation, we got responses that seriously made impact. Smooth maintenance during the Love for Shell exploit. Efficiency using the capacity by taking mapping seriously. And really could exceed, sorry, the uh, parts. And ensuring security by design and setting the first steps for data classification. But what was there for the user? So yeah, the users could also benefit. We had self-service. We made onboarding as fast as possible from days to hours, creating a new cluster. Recovery was made easy using snapshots from object storage, but also easy flipping cloud resources as like of flipping coins. And also we had set a future-proof paved road for our logging capability. So this really helped us and it really set us for the moment to see this platform live in action. Processing billions of documents from our online clusters, from our online web shop, take notice of the hot warm setup, fully an ECK and stable index and query rates. So what we have learned here is a Dutch thing is goedkoop is duurkoop, which means don't leave quality and automation out since this will certainly cost you more over time. So yeah, thank you for watching and for listening to my lightning talk. That was all folks.